enough. It has been just a year since the creation of the Blue Fund. The financial wing of the Congo Basin Commission has now begun its action phase with this first summit of heads of state held on April 29th in Brazzaville. This summit precedes a ministerial meeting on April 27th. This third conference of ministers from Central and East African countries, including Morocco, which initially validated a roadmap to address climate change issues facing countries of the Congo Basin. This will be followed by a feasibility study that will hopefully convince investors. We've identified 24 sectoral projects during the sessions in Brazzaville to finance climate-related projects. These projects have received approval by signatory state and we're only waiting for resources to finance the visibility studies. Morocco has continued to increase support towards the Blue Fund since the Marrakesh Climate Conference in 2016 and beat land in March 2018. So far, $500,000 have been disbursed to fund the studies. Morocco has continued to increase support towards the Blue Fund since the Marrakesh Climate Conference in 2016 and Pitlands in March 2018. So far, $500,000 have been disbursed to fund the studies. We have chosen to support this program, which has been funded on a new model that meets present and future needs. It is indeed based on integrated, inclusive and supportive programs, a new blue and green economy. We have been reassured in our efforts by the human dimension, which is at the heart of the project. The protection of this biotope forest that is in the Congo Basin requires substantial funding and the 13 countries of the Climate Commission hope to convince international donors to invest more in projects aimed at the sustainable development of their economies. Humanity must become aware of and have access to the necessary repairs and compensation to be paid in the name of the interests of the peoples and states of the Congo Basin. The countries present committed themselves in turn to reduce their carbon emissions and to respect commitments compatible with the respect of wetlands for the climatic balance of the planet. The preservation of the Congo Basin is very important because the forest and the tree itself is a carbon sink because of climate mitigation, which is why it is important that the forests of the Congo Basins are preserved. DRC holds 80% of this reservoir capable of containing gigatons of carbon dioxide, but since 2016, this country has been subject to delays on industrial logging licenses. A decision challenged by the Environment Minister. Industrial logging permits have nothing to do with the deforestation of our forests. And also, there's the question of the delays. Why only the Democratic Republic of Congo has its forest on moratorium? Isn't Gabon a forest country? Equatorial Guinea, the Central African Republic, Congo Brazzaville, and their forest countries? Pending agreement on common lines for the operationalization of this Blue Fund and the fulfillment of their commitments, head of states present in Brazzaville signed an MOU establishing the Congo Basin Commission, one more step in the effective implementation of the Blue Fund.